Hey you guys, Danny here. Please forgive the voice and the look. I am battling a bit of bronchitis, but we'll go into that uh, another day. Today we are going to be doing the Circle of Life Tarot for this Walkthrough Wednesday. So I will be back at the end of the walkthrough for our weekly reading. Circle of Life Tarot, you guys, let's start with the guidebook. Really nothing special about the guidebook. It's a basic little white book. It is nice, glossy, colored pages. It has multiple languages. Something I do really like is that it does explain what's on the card. So it explains the artwork for each card. There's one major spread, but that's basically it. Now, as far as the box is concerned, it is a really nice, sturdy box. Um, it holds the cards really well, but they do rattle around in there, obviously, circle and a square. But it is a nice box. I do keep it in their box, and it's, it's holding up really well. As far as the size of the cards, again, it's hard to compare a circle to a rectangle, but you can kind of see the diameter and how it's not quite as wide. Um, so it does, it does fit well in, in hand, I feel, but again, I do have larger hands. I can see where these will be a little cumbersome for someone with a smaller hand. So when it comes to reading with these cards, I'm going to be honest, they're not the first ones that I pull. These are beautiful cards. Most of the cards are very lovely to look at. They have great intuitive hits, um, but some can be very distracting. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with just the style of illustration itself. I feel like sometimes there are a lot of lines that get kind of jumbled up and you're like, wait, what is that? Like you can't quite tell what's going on or what the creature is or what what they're doing or who they're interacting with. I feel like that is the the main downfall of why I don't pull towards these cards as much because there are some images that just tend to be a little muddy. Um, the way that they are numbered and labeled um, is sometimes a little hard to, I want to say they're a little hard to see, but if you look for them, you can, but it takes a while. If you're trying to get it from the image, um, it's really not going to do that as much. I guess is what I'm saying. You're going to have to rely on um, your your cues, right? Your numbers and your suits at the bottom and the top um, to really see what they are. I use these mostly for personal because, again, they get a little distracting um, when it comes to certain cards. And I don't want to have that kind of pop up when I'm reading for someone else to be like, I don't know what's going on here. Give me a second to look. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, they are very interesting to look at. They're a very fun deck to use. And, of course, I mean, having a circle deck is a novelty in general, which I really do enjoy. So I have to say they're not my favorite but there are some pretty good qualities to this deck. Shuffling. It is not as bad as you would think. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, um, but the cardstock is really good um, in the sense that it does move with you when you're trying to riffle or rifle shuffle. However, bridging is not so easy. I just kind of push them back together. Um, the cardstock is really good though for an overhand shuffle. Nothing is sticky, no sides are bumpy. So no complaints when it comes to uh, the cardstock or, or shuffling really, it's not a problem. Like I thought it might be for a circle deck. As for my favorites, the Major Arcana, I'm going to go with Justice. This mermaid is beautiful. The colors are great. The image is clear. It's a fave. For my court card, that's going to be the Earthy Queen of Pentacles. I love this fairy on the mushroom. I get all the feels. And then for the Minor Arcana, I go with the Four of Wands. I just love the setup here. I love the stability and the groundedness that I feel from this one. It is just a beautiful image in my opinion. So those are my faves. All right, guys. I've really been enjoying 
this little deck. So what can we work on? Let me see if I can pull anything out of this little guidebook. Um, because like I, like I said, there's, it's, it's very basic um, kind of stuff that's in here. Yeah, there's not. So we'll just wing it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll try to cut out all my coughs and gross noises that bronchitis brings. Let's see, what do we need to better our health towards the end of this week? How about that? A little nod for me, right? Let's see what we got. Get up close. I'm gonna get up close a little bit. Get this little shuffle on. Cut these cards. I just didn't have one that wants to jump out this time. Sometimes I'll like shuffle it twice and it's like, I'm here. This one just wants me to dig around. I might just do a spread and feel for this one. This right here. What do we have? Oh, we have the Empress. And her being in front of that mirror, I feel like self-care in the highest form. And I think that's good for everyone because even if you're not sick like me, midweek usually is when we start to wear down, right? Monday's over, the chaos is usually all culminating in the middle of the week and then it slowly starts to fade as the weekend comes and we get all hyped up for that. But I think we forget about that self-care midweek. I think this is a good time for meditation. I think this is a good time for just a quiet check-in with yourself this week. See how you're doing. If you need some pep, get you some vitamin C. <laughs> you know, um, go outside for a little while, recharge your batteries, make sure that you're doing something to better your body and listen to your body this week and take some care. Um, as you're going into the weekend because you don't want to end it on a sour note and be sick um, Trust and believe <laughs> So let's take care of ourselves for the rest of the week show us some real nurturing loving Stuff that you know, we often neglect for ourselves um, It doesn't have to be a bubble bath, right? This could be a bottle of green juice, you know um, some extra veggies to perk up that immune system some grape juice I don't know do your thing but this this is what's needed so I hope you guys are well and I hope to see you soon if you're looking for me I have all my links down below you can book a reading find me on Instagram you can check out my patreon I have a ton of links below um, make sure to drop some comments let me know what you thought about this deck or if you have it and what you think of it and I will talk to you guys very soon much love. Bye-bye.